everybody, and welcome to the Daily Stock Report, brought to you by QualityStocks.net, where performance is tracked daily. I'm Jen Hoffman, and for Tuesday, April 29th, we're bringing you the latest news from around the markets. Today's headline news are brought to you by Sky Postal Inc. Sky Postal Inc. is an international mail distribution company focused on delivering commercial mail and periodicals into the Latin American Caribbean region. The company is one of the leading private mail networks in Latin America and handles mail from European postal administrators and major publishers. Let's get into the headline news for Monday. Warren Buffett, the world's richest person ever, said yesterday the U.S. economy is in a recession that will be more severe than most people expect. Wall Street finished little changed yesterday as investors turned cautious ahead of the Federal Reserve's two-day policy meeting, which starts Tuesday, and stocks fluctuated most of the morning before turning higher for much of the day. Stocks then pulled back modestly in the final minutes of trading. The markets open up this morning with the Dow down 20.11 or 0.16 percent, the Nasdaq is up 1.47 or 0.6 percent, and the S&P 500 is down 1.47 or 0.11 percent. And now let's take a look at the small cap news that Quality Stocks has been tracking for you. Small cap headlines are brought to you by Metafile International Inc. Metafile International Inc. is focused on developing technologies and services that assist clients with the collection, management, and distribution of key health data, including medical records and images. The QualityStocks.net daily newsletter highlighted Asta Funding Inc. as our one to watch, up 1% with over 230,000 shares traded. Asta Funding appears poised to capitalize on the continued trend of rising consumer defaults, and with no sign of a turnaround anytime soon, Asta Funding has positioned itself to benefit from the effect of a worsening credit market, making this a potential boom for the company and its investors. Jayhawk Energy Inc. is up 4% with over 195,000 shares traded. Jayhawk Energy recently announced the signing of the purchase and sale agreement with Galaxy Energy Inc., a private company, to purchase assets in the Crawford and Bourbon Counties, Kansas, bringing in 100% working interest in a 16-mile gas pipeline, as well as the production of acres of contiguous land adjacent to the pipeline for $2 million. China Jingsu Golden Horse Steel Ball Inc. is up 58% with over 336,000 shares traded. China Jingzhu Golden Horse Steel Ball Inc. share saw some major profit taking to close out the year of 2007 after surging in December with shares climbing above the $5 mark. The company recently announced that as of February 2008, 20 million common shares have been retired to Treasury, leaving the total shares outstanding over 27 million. And that's our newsmaker. Stay tuned right here to the Quality Stocks Daily Newsletter for the latest news from small cap to large cap and everything in between by QualityStocks.net, where performance is tracked daily. As always, please be sure to see our disclaimer on the QualityStocks.net site. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Jen Hoffman. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow right here on the Quality Stocks Daily Report.